Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video. Today, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame a bear solo. So, if you folks enjoy this video and find the information in this video useful, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. So the very first thing to know about the bear, you can use honey or berries to tame it. And with the bear, it is a passive creature until you attack it. It is also a powerful creature, so do bear that in mind. I'm going to show you how to avoid its attacks whilst it is down. I'm going to show you how to uh, knock it down or basically entrap it with a bow. So as you can see, I'm getting into the bear's personal space. It's not doing anything. It's not taking aggro onto me. Uh, so do bear that in mind. Now, once you start attacking it, and I'm going to use a sword, you will see that I won't do a lot of damage, meaning that it does uh, withstand attacks quite well. All right, so we got its attention. As you can see, it's got a very, very long range. So do bear that in mind. Now, the way we're going to do this to avoid the paw swipes, which, as you can see, have a long range, is we're going to use the ramps as there are walls and ramps. And somehow it seems that his paw attack does not actually uh, have the ability to reach us despite its animation showing that it could. So that's the way we're going to do it. That's how we're going to aggro the bear and take down its health. Obviously, you need to take down its health in order to use a bowler. Be careful when you move around the trap. Don't get too close because if he does hit you, as you saw, it will do a decent amount of damage. Now, in terms of feeding it, you don't want to do it from the front. You want to do it from the back. So the back of the head, you want to be in line with the ears or just after or just behind the ears to sound a little bit better that way. And for this particular tame, I'm going to use the honey. Obviously, you can use berries. And as you can see, it doesn't give that much taming. But it does take about 30 minutes to tame a bear. You probably need somewhere around uh, two stacks of honey. They stack in 20s. And so as you can see, I'm right behind him, right behind his ears. Uh, I can also be in line with his ears. But if you go in front of the snout, he will get you. It does have a decent range on that bite, as you just saw there. So do bear that in mind. You want to be in line with the ears. Now, do bear in mind your environment. Because if he does start chomping at the walls and creatures that are naturally passive walk in front of it, he will hit the creature and obviously the creature will then start attacking it so do make sure that the area around your trap is as clear as can be now i've got a gun with me just in case and you can probably get about two to three feet on it before the bowler breaks so as you can see i'm seriously hurt from the several mistakes that i have made Obviously, I've done them so I can show you guys what happens if you do get it wrong. I also strongly recommend that you have a bed nearby the trap. Uh, that will help you in case things go wrong and you can respawn, get your things and continue with the tame. Now, obviously, this is also a high level bear that I have here with regards to chitin it in the trap. You can do that however way you wish. Uh, there isn't a wrong or a right way. Or uh, as such, the wrong way is if you get killed before it's in the trap. And the right way is basically the bear's in the trap. You're outside the trap and that works. So, you know, that's the right way. It's, it's that's simple as it can be. Now, you can aggro the bear and get it to chase you in the trap. Uh, you can wait for it and hope for it to walk in the trap. Although that's probably very unlikely that, that it's going to happen. But... If you're going to kite it due to the amount of damage it's going to do, I would probably suggest a long-range weapon such as a bow, maybe a uh, rifle or a pistol. 
and when you do try and damage it I always use the sides with the ramps on it because you got the ramps and the walls to protect you of course that is sometimes easier said than done and on occasions the bear will just randomly run around the trap making it difficult to hit now do bear in mind that it can turn around and attack you so you have to be very very careful with that uh so what i mean by that is for example as you're gonna see in a bit the bear will just start running around the trap and so it won't follow the aggro mechanics in the sense that once i hit it it won't focus on me it will just continue running around the trap so when it does that do bear in mind don't get too close to it don't get in its attack range because it can turn around and hit you it will do a lot of damage as well and it does some knockback as well so you don't want to find yourself entrapped with the bear inside the trap obviously always try and kite it to the sides with the ramp it's very important because that's how you avoid the damage so i'm gonna try and hit it as it gets up so that will give me one hit on it after that i have to figure out how to get close to it to apply the other hits so as you can see he doesn't really want any of it now don't be lured into a false sense of security I have died several times thinking that, oh, he's not going to hit me because he's trying to run away from me. That's not been the case. Sometimes it works like that. Sometimes he just turns around and starts hitting you. Always make sure you have a quick escape route. So he's now bowled. But, whoop. Did not want that to happen. Did not see that one happening. But always be careful with the bear. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I think that was lag. let's do that there we go he's now down now notice that his ears kind of in line with the door frame so I'm gonna try and do this behind the door frame as I feel more protected there he will bite but won't use the paw to swipe until he is up so I recommend before the timer on the bolo runs out that you get up on the trap uh, on the ramps of the trap if he is close to the corner and hit it once that way it will of course do damage to the bear and that just means you have to do that much less damage once it's up and running about as far as the attack on the bear uh, in terms of taking its health down when it starts running around always always try and time it so that you attack it from behind the reason behind that is it does need to turn around to be able to hit you and it gives you those couple of seconds to get out of its range if it starts focusing on you then that's good just get its attention towards the sides with the ramps and do what i did at the beginning of the video if it continues running around in a circle like a headless chicken try and time your attacks so that you're always behind and always keep an eye out for the nearest exit because if he does turn towards you you do want to be getting out of there as fast as possible last thing you want to do is to die inside the trap with a very angry bear because you will well you will find it very difficult to get your things back and as you can see just then he bit me because I became a bit overconfident and decided to get out of the trap by going in front of the bear. So I'm going to do that exact same thing that I said before. I'm going to try and hit it off the ramp. See what he's doing. He's not really focusing on me as such. He seems to be running around in circles. So I'm going to be careful here and time it. Now, as I said, always keep in mind the nearest exit. He will turn. Oh. Don't want to get trapped in here. Whoop. Don't be in front of it. And at the moment, he's not attacking as such. So I am taking a risk uh, with regards to hitting it from the front. It is a calculated risk. I've got plenty of health still remaining. So even if he were to get a hit on me, whilst it would hurt, it would not kill me. So 
So once it's down, as usual, just continue feeding it. You can use berries and you can, of course, also use honey. And about 30 minutes later, you will find yourself in a situation that I am. Obviously, not getting bit by it, if you're smart. I wasn't there. Uh, but what I meant is you will find yourself with a barrel that is nearly tamed. Very important, and I will stress on it, is make sure that there aren't any uh, hostile creatures around the trap. So, for example, you saw the bear there. Uh, the bear the elephant which i did kill i did kill the male bull uh simply because if these guys get too close to it they will attack the bear because the bear is down it is defenseless and most likely kill it uh it is, does take a long time to reload my rifle so i just took the precaution of killing them before they even got too close to the trap and 30 minutes into it with a bit of patience you get yourself a bear now what's the bear good for much like the bear in arc if you start running and sprinting and hold the sprint button down it will get more speed as you can see it's got a decent amount of health a decent amount of carry weight a good amount of damage it does also harvest meat as well and does a decent amount of damage if you ask me as you can see it is charging it is getting faster and faster but i'll show you that as a separate thing it does have a bite and a paw swipe i want to show you the sprinting mechanic so he can be quite fast he starts out slow but he does gain quite a bit of momentum and speed now this one because he was initially a high level has also got a decent amount of stamina so that's it folks that is how you tame yourselves a bear it is not all that hard the hardest bit would probably be kiting it into a trap safely and then the taming process itself not that difficult uh it is also a good and strong mount this is a tier 2 mount this is also a tier 2 mount so that means you will have to unlock the tier 2 taming as well as the saddle i also recommend investing point in taming effectiveness because you do want it to be of a high level once it is fully tamed that is it for me for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found the information in this video useful if you have please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Seftopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.